In this tutorial, we are going to go over how to add media to the timeline. Depending on the kind of media you have, the process for putting it on the timeline will be different. Before you start adding any media, you need a sequence. Refer to our tutorial on sequences if you do not understand how this works. To add an image to a sequence, simply drag and drop the image into the timeline. There you will be able to adjust the length and move it around. When you add a video or audio element to the sequence, you can do the drag and drop method. However, a more efficient way of adding video or audio is called three-point editing. To begin, double-click your media so that it appears in the source monitor. From here, decide what part of your video or audio you want in your sequence. Once you reach the beginning of your clip, mark an endpoint. Then, go to where you want your clip to end and mark an out point. Click and drag your media from the source monitor to the timeline. For video, this will drag both audio and video elements. To bring just the video elements, drag from this button. To bring just the audio elements, drag from this button. You will then be able to move these clips around in the timeline. Be careful, because just as you can adjust the length of your images, you can adjust the length of your trimmed videos. This will affect what portion of the video is in the clip. For help in editing media on the timeline, please see our other tutorial.